It's like the worst B.O. ever. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It's nasty. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Marty here. I'm just coming at you guys today with a little how-to video. Got my buddy Dan. How's it going? <laughs> so we're working on my 2000 F-150. It's a 4.2 liter V6. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Actually taking apart the uh, rear end today. Um, did some uh, axle seals and bearings, so we're just going to show you how to take it apart. All right, so we got here is an 8.8 .8 Ford. Uh, this will apply to 97 to 03, probably newer too. It's got basic overview. So you're going to start with, you're going to pull the cover off. It's uh, 10 half inch bolts, and then you're going to rotate it so you can see this little guy here. And we're going to unscrew that. It's an 8 mil. Pull that out. You're gonna push this shaft out. It usually just slides out, you might have to tap on it. Okay, put that in the parts bucket. Then you're gonna have somebody push the axle in. You wanna do that? Ah, shit. All right, you got the axle. All right, easiest way to do it is take a, a magnet, whatever. I can get in there without having it stick to everything. And you're gonna try to get this little C clip out of here. Come on. This can be kind of finicky, but once you pop that little You might have to work at it with your hand just to get it to pop loose. And take your magnet. <laughs> get it out. It might take some doing. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Then you can push the axle out and then you'll just pull it out there after you get all the brakes and stuff off because that will be in the way but yeah that's how you get an axle out works for this other side too and uh honestly this is probably going to be about the same for just whatever you're in just it's going to look different so yeah that's it once you're done put it all back together get the c-clip back in this is a lot easier than taking it out you just cover in there and Pull her till she goes. I'm gonna take your special little thing, rotate it so you can get to the hole. Put it in. Make sure the axle's far enough where you can put it in. Make sure the hole's lined up. There we go. The gears will move around so. Make sure they don't fall out. And you push it in, get it lined up, and then you'll put your bolt in, tighten her down. Uh, use a new one; it's usually recommended, but the old one's usually fine. And yeah, that's it. Put her back together, fill her up, good to go. Thanks, Dan.